Good morning and welcome to Senior Break. Uh, my co-host Dawn will, may show up later uh, and join us, but as for right now, she's not here. And But I do have a special guest today, and her name is Myrna Vanderstar, and she's going to show us how to make mini yo-yo Christmas trees. Welcome to the show, Myrna. Thank you. We're glad to have you here. And um, um, how did this is going to be a sew, a sewing tree? So maybe you can give us a little bit of your background on how you started sewing. Uh, I I took for home ec in seventh and eighth grade. Okay. And then we had a neighbor that was a 4-H leader. And when I was in the ninth grade, she. Uh, she wanted my sister and I to join 4-H, okay. so, and she was a very good sewer mm -hmm. and taught me a lot of things, <clears throat> and from that time on, I just sewed. So you kind of picked it up on your own um, after that? Partly. I, I did 4-H for a number of years, I think. I don't know if I did it all the way till I was a senior. I probably did. Mm -hmm. You know, and, people, uh, I guess when we're young, we don't realize how important that is. To go to those classes and learn these things right. so that later we can have a hobby. Right. You know, something yeah. as seniors, you know, we have something to, uh, after we get all that working done, yeah. <laughs> we have time to do things like this. Well, today, um, uh, Myrna's going to show us how to make these beautiful little trees. And these, this, if you can see, they're all, they're all material. They're all different layers of material on here. And then there's a little one over here, too. But um, Myrna, if you go ahead and uh, step right now, I am not a sewer, so I'll be asking you questions that okay. are very um, amateur. On, okay. the, on the little trees, um, we start with, a, I like the little uh, terracotta pots, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, aren't those cute? Mm -hmm. And uh, I take and, and glue a half of a, a styrofoam ball, this is quarter, uh, inch and a quarter, and I glue it in the pot so that um, it can't move. Let me show. And then... Uh, show that pot, maybe. Yeah. You can see. <clears throat> and then I make the sticks. Um, you can make them any size. I usually use about an eight and a half and a six and a half, but you could even make them smaller. So but where do you get these, these sticks? These are dolls. So uh, you, like you can buy them long or... These here were in a package of 12 and they were... Mm -hmm. 18 inches long, so or this, 12 inches this long. So this stick will say how big the tree is going to be. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you want a little one like that, you just use the little the stick. The little stick. Okay. Like this one. Okay. And put some glue on there and then stick it in here. And it's best to let it dry for quite a while so that it doesn't pull out as you're working on it. This is what Myrna's okay. uh, just doing with the stick. Right. With the stick. Okay. And that's an so easy that's, part. So that's one You could step. also use spools um, like... Uh, thread spools, if you're like me, you keep everything, so you can use them if you, for the, I like the little ones for the little trees and the bigger ones for the big trees and paint so them. Did you, know. you, did you put this on top of that and then you can put a spool through two no. of them? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No, I use this for the little okay. one. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to use the big ones, but uh, the dowels still go right in there. You can glue okay. them in there, paint that if you want. So this would just go right in there. <laughs> right. Oh, mm -hmm. that's perfect. Like that. See? So then you don't even here. have to purchase these? No, you don't. Okay, no. that's nice. And uh, okay. stuff, so anyhow. Um, <coughs> okay, so now I've got my little pot, and I've got, we got our this is glued, pots. and I've got my dowel in it. Yeah, okay, so then I'm going to show you the templates. This is how I started out with templates. And uh, you can just make your own circles from, um, we used ice cream pail lids and, and cut can them from that? them. Sure. See, that's just cut a, different sizes. Cut that out of the, the top of a ice cream lid. It's just yeah. a piece of plastic. This okay. here was just regular plastic for uh, for doing things for okay. crafts. And these are different sizes. Right. And, and then later on, after a while, I bought this here. And this is a template. And it has, uh, you fold your material and lay it across here and draw your half circle. Take it out and you have pieces like this. I didn't get them all. You just have a circle of material. Okay. And it goes from two to ten. Okay. And um, so I just use scraps. I brought uh, just some scraps to show that I go down in my bins and just pick out scraps and some of them are pretty good size 
So you make don't the have to. You don't. You have to measure them on here to see how how big you want them. Right. On the scope. Right. And uh, <clears throat> so you can do either one. Uh, I don't remember. I've had that circle one for a long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stuff. So. Um, um, what would our next step be then? So we've got the material okay. and we've got okay, we got that the template. We got a little template. Okay, and I wish I'd have made a bigger one, but I didn't do it. Um, you need to use heavy thread to to uh, to gather them. Uh, this here is a quilting thread, and I I uh, I use it double to um, to do the sewing around the edge, and I find it best to do it by hand but it is kind of time consuming because usually your, your uh, threads aren't heavy enough if you do it on the sewing machine and you keep breaking them, then you have to do them over. You got good eyes, you got that thread. <laughs> I, I'd have still been trying to thread that needle. Okay. When you cut your little, any size on here, you want to take and fold it in force like this and just snip a little bitty piece off the end. And you, I mean little, because when you open it up, you have a little hole in it. So then you take and you do your gathering all the way around, um, about a third of an inch, whatever is comfortable. And you just sew all the way around. Now this would, this is the little piece that would be- That's one of maybe the top of pieces. Maybe one of yes, these on top. I should have, uh, Okay, so so you one. would start with the bigger ones on the bottom, yes, yes, and then sew like you're sewing. And I sewing. like to use uh, on this big one. It's got two of the tens, two of the nines, two of the eights, okay. two of the sevens, and the sixes, and the fives, and the fours, and the twos. So make two of each size. I like that. Now on the little one, I started with the eights because that okay. would be kind of big on there and oh, it would okay. flop around. Okay. So I made two eights. And uh, two sevens, sevens, sixes, fives, fours, okay. and uh, threes and two. Okay. Stuff. So, and you can, if you want to put three on, you can. You can do anything you want with them. <laughs> yeah. You can. So you're saying it would be, but that looks yeah. really nice. That looks like and, it's uh, perfect. Like stuff. That. So, anyhow, you take and and gather this around here uh, with little stitches, mm -hmm. and it don't take too long. <clears throat> and then when you're done, you. You just take and lay it down and pull your threads so it makes a little circle all the way around. I'm not going to finish that. It takes too long. <laughs> okay. I've got some little ones here. These are one of the little ones. Okay. But we have big ones. And I put them in Ziploc bags so I don't have to measure them every time. These are the biggest ones. They're tens. Oh. Okay. Let's put a green one. I did make blue uh, ones one time. I like, um, I don't have the, really the stuff for the blue ones very much. Okay. Okay. You got to kind of work them sometimes. You see it's got the hole in it and it's got the gathering. Then we'll take this. Is that the biggest one? Yeah. This and was a taller one here. This one? Is Okay, that that was, I was going to do the bigger one. First. Okay. Okay. I like to put that one upside down first, but there's really no reason to it. And see, I forgot to cut that one. Where did my scissors go? So you sewed all this together and pulled it mm -hmm. together. Yeah. yeah. And, and the then little hole was already tied there. It okay, good. gotcha. And then. If you've made your little hole like you should, you won't have to do what I'm doing. Okay, there's there's the tent, just like that. <coughs> See Myrna? if we can get the next one. Mm -hmm. So this is nice. You can have special material you use or um, anything. Well, yeah. you know, Myrna, while you get that out, we're going to take a little break. Okay. And uh, when we come back, we're, we're going to finish putting this tree together. It's really interesting. So we'll be right back.
Welcome back to Senior Break. I have my special guest today, Myrna from Addison Township, and she's showing us how to make yo-yo Christmas trees. Do you know why they're called yo-yo? Because these are, these are the yo-yos, they make all kinds of things. Oh. Ornaments, and okay. they, they make the they make bedspreads or, or oh, okay. blankets with them by sewing them together. Oh, that's what they're called, okay. And, um, or up like that. Okay, <laughs> well, we got you where um, you were gonna show us in the last segment, the different sizes right. of, what are these called? Yo-yos. I mean, that, that's the yo, okay. Oh, I that's thought maybe the there was a certain. Yeah. And this one's got a hole in it. Okay. So this is And the, what size is this now? That, those are um, tens okay. and, and uh, from from my um, Okay, but we were, we were going to, you were gonna show us a little bit about the sewing again, that sewing okay. part. Mm -hmm. These two are the nines, okay? okay. 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 Yeah. The sewing. I can finish this in just a yes, second. Yes, if you could show us, because I saw that you... Just make little stitches, or okay. fairly little stitches. Okay, on the edge. Mm-hmm, Okay. A, a third, not more than a quarter inch. Okay. In, and um, what that does is, if you, like this one here, I think is a two or a three, it's a three. Okay, and, and that's then all... it'll be, uh, yeah, okay, That's all the sewing that's a, required? Yes. And the, for the mm -hmm. tree, okay. So but, you, uh, you, you kind of gather that together on the mm -hmm. edges? Right. Whoop. Okay. Just go around. And a heavy tread is, thread, is there a number on the thread, um, or you just call no. it a quilting thread? This was a quilting thread that I haven't used because I don't do a lot of hand quilting anymore. Okay. But you can also use a button thread and just a single thread because okay. it's quite heavy. Okay. Uh, it's is usually... that because if you use a, th a thinner one, it might break? Yes. Well, yes. it's on the tree, mm -hmm. okay. You get them all done and you go to tie it and you okay. pull it too tight and you gotta start all over. Have you ever made one that's all the same color? Like the green I, or the? I have, I've done them in the greens and I did uh, a set for one of my daughters in blues. So that, if you have a, a special um, Christmas blanket or a special piece of material or a blouse that's no longer any good, it's Christmassy, mm -hmm. you could save that and make a tree out of it. You could, yes, you can do it like that. Or you can use like different shades of red, a green or different shades of reds. Mm -hmm. And I always stick a little off-white or white prints in there just to okay. uh, make them look different. Okay. And, uh, and do you ever um, do you ever decorate these more? Not that it needs it, because I think it's beautiful. No, it but would be kind of hard. But okay. I don't. I don't. Okay. Bar uh, the ones I've made. Um, okay. I'm not. A sewer, so I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I've used a glue gun before. Oh, have you used but, a glue uh, gun? Yeah, but it was yeah. more on my fingers. Than I it don't. Uh, I I don't use a glue gun on these as a rule. Okay, um, that's really good though. Because um, I thought for a decoration is what I meant for the glue gun, but they don't need it. Yeah, they're, are, no, they're they stay together. Good. Because and, these uh, would make really nice gifts. And these are people. just scraps from Christmas things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people give me material. Um, we made things for um, wounded soldiers with miracle quilts that I belong to. Oh. And we made uh, Christmas stockings and there was a lot of uh, uh, scraps. Mm -hmm. What do you do for the wounded soldiers? We mostly make quilts, but we make what we call ditty bags and put all kinds of things in that they could use. Mm -hmm. And we make, uh, well, we made the Christmas stockings because uh, one of the places that we send to is uh, Walter Reed uh, Hospital, and uh, I didn't know this until just lately, but they have a women's section and children's section as well as the men's sections. So if people out there have extra material, 
that they don't need, could you always use that material to make the... <coughs> Not the myself anymore, because I don't have no place to put it, but, okay. but uh, uh, Miracle Quilts takes, uh, they give okay. a lot of material for that. Okay. Or and if you see, have... There's the little yo-yo I was, just did, and it's oh, yes. uh, all okay. gathered, and oh, I, I had see. made okay. the hole already. So, so you I'm pulled okay. it, and then the hole... Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if anybody out there has extra, any kind of material, it doesn't have to be Christmas, right? Oh that no, they, that we, they don't, would like we do to quilts in red, white, and blue. We use them. Okay. My thing is that they always give me uh, homespun or plaids, things that would go into a men's quilt, mm -hmm. and, and that's what I use. Okay. Um, I just started one. If, if anybody um, has any, they can um, always bring it to uh, my Addison Town Township Senior Center. Uh, call me first, please, 248-628-3388 to be sure that I'm there and um, I will take it and give it, uh, we have a couple sewing groups out there mm -hmm. that we might be able to ones. use it. Um, yes. Yeah, or our yarn. We have a lady that makes yarn, uh, makes uh, little um, affigans for the soldiers too. Yes. So yes. yeah, so we could use that too. She said, she said that the other day that I for, see I didn't get into this punching that hole in it until later on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's where you when cut I, it in fourths. Yes, and I, you, I just um, when I fold it, it's yeah, a lot yeah, easier yeah, than yeah. cutting, just doing a little cut and doing this. Okay. Furthermore, it's in the middle more. I didn't okay, tell us it. a little bit about this right here, Myrna. We'll, we'll come back that, to this. This here was, uh, it. I call it a quilted wall hanging. Oh, that's beautiful. And uh, I've made a number of them. Um, each square is a little different. So they're, they're all They're all different sizes. Okay. Yeah, they're just exactly. Oh. Put a little piece of my, uh, batting in them. Mm -hmm. um, I sew them around that, with a hole, that. and then I do me a little. That for you. Okay. Yeah, sure. And then here's the back. So it's just a square in different size squares. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's beautiful, too. Um, That's on crazy. Pinterest, they give the... Uh, um, the sizes of the squares, mm -hmm. but you could make them any. In fact, they've even got one that you make a little Christmas ornament out of it. <laughs> oh, wow, that's nice. But, and so uh, this is this is uh, just sewing around the edges, is that it? Yes, after I, wherever I turn it, you have to turn it and then mm -hmm. uh, flatten it out. And, yeah. and I sew that by hand. And then I like to top stitch it. It makes it look nicer. Okay. And, um, and then you just I added do, these? Yeah, I added the little snowflakes. And you hang it up. And you can also add like so these gold stars. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You could also, I d I've done this with some of them. And you can make, uh, if you have different scraps that go together mm -hmm. that you like, you can make each square a different color. Oh, or wow. a different Christmas, you know, mm -hmm. however it, it goes It almost looks like you could put a card in there. You know, yeah, like you make I don't it know. Like it's not really bit. for that, yeah. but you could. Yeah. Almost well, even this one is bigger. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Okay. And then I want to show that too. <clears throat> That's something that you made too. Now this is crocheted. This is crocheted. Okay. It's a, a Mary Maxim pattern, and so they can't be sold because they're copyright. But um, I stayed with my my sister in California, and I seen this pattern, and I just loved it. So she helped me order it. My, by the time I got home, it was there. Wow, you can do everything, and, uh, huh? She wanted, the original one is got a blue, little blue hats and, and such. They didn't put orange noses on them. They put white noses, but I didn't think they showed up. So yes. I like noses on my snowman. Yeah, that's cute. And she wanted the black toboggan. This, this is supposed to look like a toboggan. Okay. You crochet it, a little hand up. Mm -hmm. That's all crocheted? Everything, yes, okay. the whole thing it's is not, crocheted. Nothing knit? No. Nope. Okay, that's beautiful too. Yeah. Really nice. I'll put that back. Stop. These are all really nice gifts. This will be a gift. If you know how to crochet or... Yeah, or, um, yeah it there. makes very, very nice nice gifts. Yeah. I oh, make most beautiful. of my Christmas gifts. Yeah, oops, I'm sorry. Okay, well, we're going to take a break. Okay, is that And that? we'll be right back and we will finish up the tree. Canine Stray Rescue is Oxford's own local dog rescue. Each year they take in hundreds of dogs and bring them into suitable homes. A certified nonprofit organization, Canine Dog Rescue strives to give pound dogs a new leash on life. To donate, adopt, or even volunteer, call them at 248 
628-0435 or go to their website dogsaver.org and click on the K9 Stray Rescue League link. Welcome back to Senior Break, and we are going to finish assembling this beautiful uh, mini yo-yo tree, and uh, Myrna's going to show us how to do that. Okay, Myrna. Well, this already you put on number 10. 10 and 9. Okay, is this two 10s and two 9s? Two 9s. Okay. And then these will be the 8s. Okay. Is that too far? These are the number 8 patterns now. They See how they're getting smaller each time? And they make it... Uh, this is seven this, now? Uh, this is seven. Okay. I think maybe even I can make this. Could you? I yes, think so. I because think so you too. live close, I could, could run you? over. <laughs> and you say, could come help. over and just, we could do it together. Help, I help. like that. If I get stuck. Yeah. These are beautiful. I love them. What's the biggest one you've ever made? Just that size. That one, okay. Yeah, I've just made that mm -hmm. size. I, uh, I was thinking of making just one. When I cut these dowels, I have pieces left because they're a 12 inch and I cut them down to about eight and a half. Oh, okay. And I thought, well, I could take and make little tiny trees and hang them up, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. and they could be hung on the Christmas tree. Oh, you that's could, cute uh, too. Behind the star, you could put a little ribbon. What size that. is this one? Uh, that's like the eight, eight and a half, Okay, so, so you can make them up to here, you're saying. Well, you could make it bigger. Bigger, yes. Than okay, yeah. so this is. Two tens, two nines, two eight, two seven, two six. We're on five. Yep. Number five. Okay. Whoop. And what you're snipping is you're just making that hole a little bit bigger. Uh, is that well, it? I didn't make the hole in it until the other day. I oh, okay. I came across this idea. Okay. Uh, because I don't have oh, really instructions on this. Oh, you're Years doing ago, good. I made them with my friends that I sewed with up north when we okay. lived up there. And um, this is number four, I think so. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so actually, you can make a lot of size tens ahead of time. You could put them in the put them in a bag like you did. Yes. And then yeah. make them, and then you know, once you get all the sewing done, then you can assemble them. So yes. you could this. I mean, you could have like a little assembly line going, <laughs> on how to do it. You know, because yeah. if you have to make them for five well, people, you sit down to watch. TV or something, you yeah. like something to pick yeah. up and do with your yeah. hands, that's what I do anyhow. Yeah, I, this is nice. I like to... Uh, this is beautiful. Okay, let me do this again. 10, 9, 8, 7, okay. 6, 5, 4. We're going on number 3. Yeah. See, that's nice and full. Yeah. That's really nice and full. And you don't, full. you could, you know, if you want it. It's just all just Christmas material from other times, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, I do buy a little bit of... Uh, when I was in California, I picked up those two pieces for mm -hmm. that uh, quilted um, tree. Mm -hmm. Like remnants, don't they have that in the stores I after Christmas? I think I bought a yard or a yard and a half mm -hmm. of each one of those. And then... Um, after Christmas, do they have Christmas? I don't yeah, go into the material they'll store. put them on sale. <laughs> they'll yeah. put it on sale? Yeah, I usually don't buy stuff <laughs> yeah, full you price have because it act. Yeah. 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 And I was surprised when I went down and got in my stash how many different colors and and uh, you can also use uh, uh, plaids and mm -hmm. and and, and uh, checks mm -hmm. and little pin dots or all that kind of stuff to um, you know. To, at, uh, at Addison, we yeah. have a group that comes in on Mondays and they are sewers. These ladies are mm -hmm. sewers. They do not teach. They all know how to sew, but they help each other. And they just have a great time. They come in around 9.30, and then they'll have lunch. They either bring their lunch or they'll order out or they'll go out to eat. Hmm. And uh, they said that when, when they plan to come in once a week and sew, they sew. But when you say you're going to do it at home, you kind of end up doing everything but. Oh. And I've been there before, so I, Not me. I know. I go and I sew all and the then, oh, you're <laughs> But then okay. there's another group, it's a quilting group that comes in on Friday, you know, and they, oh. they also, um, the same reason, right. they yeah. bring their machines in and they sew and um, they just have a ball. 
-hmm. they teach each yep. other and they're and all it's good i call them master so i sewed since i was really young and yeah. yet uh even at the uh, military quilts that we do um i've learned a lot of different tips and and yeah. uh things to do that that make things nicer and yeah. exact easier so, yeah yeah and then okay. when we get all our as many as you want on here and it looks nice i use this little uh this is a pencil sharpener I got at the dollar store, and it works great. Okay. And I made my point up here very pointy, and my button, instead of cutting that off, I just put a little glue on it and stick it on. I didn't oh, put glue on it right now. Oh, so that, that, that little, see, I don't know if you can see that, but in the back, the, the part that you sew into the button is the part you put right on the top of the dowel. Yeah, right it just there. fits right and on there. Fit. Oh, that's And really on the little nice. ones. You got so to sharpen them quite a bit. And so they, this is very see? inexpensive to make. Yes. When, especially yes. when you have everything, yeah. and especially the material, and the sewing. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but okay. So this, this, do you want to um, just list off, and I'll give you your paper here, of everything. If say somebody out there would like to make one, um, just tell them what they would need. Um, okay. The supplies they would need to make it. Uh, yes. Um, is that your, I, I is think that the right sheet I gave you? I think this paper is better. Okay. okay. Well, we need the dowels. Okay. We need the little um, terracotta, terracotta pots. pots. Or, like I said, you could use spools if you have a collection of them. Uh, that's some of the things that, that uh, I like to make. And, and then, then you inside need the, it. Well, inside this? Yeah, it's got the little styrofoam ball. I split them. This. They're one in, and a quarter inch. Okay. And you go glue it in. And it works just fine. It's, um, you can't see it though. No, not really. There, so you, and okay. then uh, I use a pencil sharpener, and on a dowel, I leave one end kind of blunt, but uh, put glue on it and stick it in the styrofoam and let it dry good. I, the top one, you leave it real uh, as thin as you can do it with the little uh, pencil sharpener, and see it even holds a little one. Oh, yeah. And that is so nice. Just put a dab of glue in there. and, okay. and uh, So it's important to sharpen the dowels. On the yes, and okay. I just happened to do that by, usually I tried to cut this off and glue it. It doesn't stay as good. Okay. Are we done? No. Uh, so. Okay, we got that far. Um, just if you listen fast and then we have a list. And um, then sure. we make the uh, templates. Mm -hmm. uh, we use the templates, which ones you, you just, like. Yeah, if you just give us a list. And give the uh, color mm -hmm. of materials. Okay. And um, then you need needles and thread. Okay. Um, you need the pencil sharpener. You need a ruler, scissors, glue, and the paint brush. Okay. And I buy a bunch of, at the dollar store, you can get a packet. Okay. That aren't really good for painting, but they do great for um, a dab of glue in different oh, places okay. to, to instead of using your finger. <laughs> okay. Okay, and I think so that's about all the paint brush, things you need. Yeah, mm, the scraps of Christmas okay. material. Well, I and I want to say too the for stars. my seniors and for everybody, but for seniors, it's so important. This will keep your fingers moving. This will keep keep your mind thinking. That is so important. And, and you do have to get up once in a while and go get something else too. Sure. So, Myrna, I want to thank you so much for doing this today. Appreciate it. And uh, maybe we can have you another time. Uh, well, I have to say next year. Now it's almost the end of the year. Yeah. And show us <laughs> another thing to make. Um, I'll try. Yeah, this would yeah. be. This is very, very nice. I use these for Christmas gifts. Mm -hmm. I usually use one big one and two small ones. Okay. But you can do any a number. That's up to you. You know. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.